How's it going everybody? My name is Jim Shear. I'm Mike Adam. And welcome to another beautiful episode of Give Me Five. This week's category is worst fashion choices in music history. We're talking all time. I know. You could, if you wanted to, you could say Beethoven's uh, <laughs> tuxedo know. or whatever. I know. And we're going to need your help on this one because there's so many to choose from. I know I forgot like a ton, but here are my five uh, at the number five spot. Lady Gaga's meat dress. The meat dress. Hideous. I mean, she got what she wanted from it. Everybody was talking about it, but it was just like somebody should have pushed her into a See, shark See, I didn't tank. realize it was a dress made of real meat. Yeah. I thought it was a dress made to look like meat. No. But then when I found out no. that they had to put in a cooler and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Awful. Uh, at the number four spot... Lil Kim's one boob. Yes. Pasty. Yeah. I was happy because like, you know, Lil Kim looked great then and her boob was just there and I was like, oh, that's cool. But she did not look fashionable. Like that was a horrible outfit and she just didn't look, I was like, what are you doing? That there? was a turning point. That for opened what? Pandora's box. Oh, yeah. For the whole red carpet culture. Yeah, yeah, for where sure. Where it's like, I'm not wearing something because it looks nice. I'm wearing something to shock you now. Yeah, exactly. Uh, at the number three spot, now, I know this could go either way, but I'm going the negative way with it. <laughs> uh, Pharrell and that the Smokey the Bear hat he was wearing. Oh, at the Grammys. Like, why? I know people are like, oh, that's high-end fashion or whatever. <laughs> but if I saw somebody walking down the street with that hat on, I would hit it off them and then trip them. <laughs> Uh, at the number two spot, I, I almost put this at number one. Do you remember when R. Kelly wore his little Zorro mask thing yes. at the, uh, the Grammys? Yes. That was the creepiest thing ever. And in some of his videos, he had not only the, the you know, superhero Robin mask thing, but he had the top hat, too. You looked like such a creeper. All that was missing was an unmarked fan. And with his history, too. That, yes! Yes! Yeah. Uh, and at the number one spot, uh, Bjork. Oh, okay. Wearing the swan. The swan dress. Do you like that? See, I, I was into Bjork before she walked that red carpet, so I kind of knew what she was like, and I think yeah. that was a lot of people's first intro to Bjork. Yeah. And they were shocked, and I'm like, yeah, well, that's what Bjork does. So weird, though. It I, was weird. I guess if you didn't see it coming, it was weird. But it, I, I saw it coming. It reminds me of the things, you know, the little rides you see in the lake where you're just... Yeah. I felt like she should have been in a, a lake. Okay. All right, but Jim, right. give me five. All right, so uh, number five for me. I'm going at a demigod here. Elvis's jumpsuit. <laughs> Horrible, man! Horrible! Yes. The bell bottoms, the sequins, the fact that you could see his chest hair... And then, if you don't have a six-pack, you can see any type of stomach bulge in that jumpsuit. Yeah. I love the old footage of him doing the Ed Sullivan show with the sports jacket and the loafers and dancing and everything, but I hate, always hated, the jumpsuit. Yeah. Terrible. <laughs> Number four, Lady Gaga's orb. Have you seen the orb that's around her? Yes. To me, that was a turning point for Lady Gaga. The first time I saw it, she was performing on SNL. And she had a hard time performing because this orb was moving around her. And I said, you can't let the performance get in the way of the performance. And she's done it all too often. Yeah. And I knew Lady Gaga would make one of our lists. Turns out oh. she made both. <laughs> sure. uh, number three, Justin Timberlake and Britney Spears' Canadian denim tuxedo at the 2001 American Music Awards. Horrible. <laughs> I mean, even if you're being ironic, it's terrible, man. <laughs> I forgot about that. And I almost put Katy Perry and Riff Raff on for spoofing that not too long ago. You can't even spoof that. No. Denim on denim, no, baby. And I'm not even a, I'm not even part of the fashion police. Ugh. Terrible. Man. Terrible. Uh, number two, any hair band in the 1980s, take your pick. Yeah. Never understood it as a kid. There's these big, tough rock and roll bands, and they tried to make themselves look as feminine as possible. Yeah. And then they were also very misogynistic. So it, it didn't make sense to me as a kid, and they're, however many years later, it still doesn't make sense to me. They're like, I'm a guy, but I'm in touch with my feminine side, but I'm And I like to treat women like crap. Yeah. Yeah, it, 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 it never made sense to me. Uh, and the worst fashion choice in music history... Mick Jagger in the music video Dancing in the Streets. Oh, I don't know God. where to begin. An aqua long sleeve shirt where yeah. the front pockets look like backpacks. 
uh, a pair of royal blue pants that are just cut horribly white Reebok shoes. Uh, this wouldn't look good on my next door neighbor in the 1980s. And I'm talking about moms in the neighborhood. Yeah. Did not look good on Mick Jagger. And growing up, you're supposed to respect Mick Jagger as one of the all-time rock gods. And I'm like, what are you talking about? That's not cool, man. Th th that's what? Yeah. So that was a lot of kids' introduction to supposedly one of the coolest rock gods in the history of music. Mick, here's a good rule of thumb. If Prince can't make it look good, <laughs> don't wear it. And wear David it. Bowie, his was also horrible, but because it's David Bowie, I, I right. let it slide. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. So uh, we're talking about the the worst fashion mishaps in, in music of all time. So if you have something that uh, me and Jim missed, and I'm sure there... Because we're, so we're not fashion professionals. No, no. So I'm sure there are people maybe who are watching. Let us know. Were we totally off on this list? I don't agree with you about Pharrell's hat, though. But <laughs> comment below, and we'll talk to you next week. It's Gimme Five.